one of these two teams. One of them is more than likely going to get eliminated here as we get into this last third game. We have elimination mode completed for EG. They will pick all different heroes uh, throughout this best of three series, which is pretty hype, but... Uh, I don't know, what do you feel about these drafts right now, Brax, in this third game? we got some crazy things going on on uh, Mortal's draft, right? Dubu support OD, perhaps? What? Why? He has, uh, support items. But wait. Synergy between the Essence Horror and the Arc... I, I guess so. He already has the Null Tally. He's got Enchanted Mangoes for QO on the Scarath Mage. So, yeah, this is very intriguing. I, he went... Yeah, he went Essence Horror level 1. Okay. All right. Very I mean, I, that? I just, uh, you know, I don't know. Sometimes you see a mid OD and you're like, oh yeah, he's going to do great. And then all of a sudden this, this support OD comes out, skilling up Essence OR first, which I'm sure is fine. I mean, what is it? Restored mana, 10%, but it's a 40% chance all levels. So maybe this works out. I uh, Usually when you skill up Essence OR level 1 on OD, it's never a good sign. Well, this is a whole goal for the OD. Have you ever seen this before? I've theory crafted it before. Oh. So tell me about it. I mean, other than Essence Zero, what else are we looking at here? That's about it. That's what you have to offer. <laughs> the Sandy's Eclipse doesn't do any damage, but it burns some man 40% of their current mana pool. Um, not too useful. You know, I'm not sure, but I wasn't sure about the last game either for Mortals, and they, they showed me... That is true. These guys can teach us a thing or two about Dota, so we'll just have to see how it plays out. We sure will. MP is going to get shadowed by Fear, who has the Nature's guys to work with. Uh, meanwhile, Phoenix is nearby as well for crit. Remember, this is a offlane universe vengeful spirit, which we saw, uh, I think, two days ago from Kezu. Maybe even yesterday. I can't remember off the top of my head, but still. Uh, offlane venge could be pretty interesting. Yeah. Starting out in the offlane, but it is aggro lane, right? Look, oh. up on MP. Are they going to try to just go for a kill? All Nature's right. guys, they have the match for this, so they've got the fire spirits. Is it enough damage? MP is in trouble. Splitter will come out. That will hit onto one, but he's still going to fall as Fear will secure the first blood. Solid lane, says Sumail, now dealing with a tri lane in the mid lane. Sumail is not happy. I can guarantee you that. He got arcane bolted. Oh, he, he skilled up corrosive skin. He's fine. 10% magic resistance. He's in. And by fine, I mean he's getting harassed down like crazy. He's getting his ass kicked. Yeah, he really is. You have Febby with 74 base damage on the Shadow Shaman. This feels rough for Sumail. My god. Yep, he and this, uh, they also get the Pangolier and pop in a 1D. Yes. I'd have to say, sure, Jared's probably going to be fine, but giving Pangolier these. How oh, devastating he. Game. Oh, Trim, we already talked about it, buddy. We've already discussed the support OD. Oh, yeah, in a lengthy detail. Yeah, you better be sorry, Trent. I, you know what? Well, that's all right. But uh, you were right about Fred. He had a great game last Oh, they're diving Smell, I thought, for a moment. Debbie was looking for an Aether Shock. They couldn't quite Running find him. Off him. The tower. What could he do? He's got a salve coming, I think. No, Tang yeah, he did salve up. He has another Tango to work with as well. So, I mean, we talked about, like, giving Arteezy free farm, but essentially, this is a lot different because it's a solo Pangolier who loves those one-on-one -on -one matchups usually. I just, uh, they don't really have anything to do with Pangolier. Well, I guess they can swap him out when he uses Can you overgrowth him? Okay. Oh, thanks, Mr. Midas. Sumail's in some trouble trying to fight onto QO. There's a double damage route. He will survive. The Nether Tox is pretty good. It's a one for one trade for now, but again, a good fight coming in for EG. Rotating in crit. What was the word? Slots? Slops. Slops? Yeah. Ah, oh, I love that me some slops. Not a word I would use to describe anything. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not a word I would ever use, I think, actually. And I just did, so great. Okay. Right, you so learn something new every day, Brax. Mr. Midas, for educating us. Exactly. Cultures. <laughs> Lane isn't probably would have liked. Yeah, that's never fun. Not great, but Viper's still. Yeah, they're really shutting him down in that regard. Uh, net worth wise, he's sitting below the Shadow Shaman. Obviously, it's still very early into the game, but uh, Sumail is taking a lot of damage. They rotated Fear up top to try to deal with the Pangolier on Forev. Might be a bit tough. Nether Toxin will go. Crit has the Fire Spirits and Icarus Dive ready to go. Will he use it? He will. Icarus Dive comes in, but now Crit might be in trouble. Dubu's going to run in. Auto attack damage, but QO, one more auto attack. The Fire Spirits No, the Astral comes out just in time. He will still die to this Nether Toxin one way or the other, and Sumail will get another kill going EG's way. So suddenly, Immortals will lose out on another target. They have the Aether Shock. I mean, it'll be one for one trade, but still, again, Sumail getting the kill is, is actually really good. But he might get fed. He's so close. Not quite. He will survive. He's in the well. He's healing up. So good stuff there. That's absolutely 
not doing too bad in the network department about attack only Dyrath Mage. It's still really early, right? I mean he could he can get some room. He'll be able to nether toxin and farm out waves a lot later on into the game. But for now, he went for the one 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 build, trying to get some aggressive uh points to the poison attack. But uh MP bottom lane almost getting chased down by Universe. Needs another wave, won't be able to get the kill though. And that'll do it. But a lot of pressure being applied to this Lashrak in the bottom lane. Sidelander's doing fantastic, right? You Treads to Yeah. Tangler up top. It's not destroying the lane, getting everything you need. <laughs> I have five creeps. Well done, Sumail. You've also been astraled. You might be dead. Another Toxic comes out the shackles with more than enough damage for Immortals. Well done there. And uh, another big kill for them on Sumail in the mid lane. You know, I hope Im So they have zero moon bucks. For <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> what are they going to draft? They just have to random every game, I feel like. Look at their current drafts, you'd probably say this. Uh, Maybe this is their uh, their comfort zone. Oh, damn it. I mean, well, that's pretty true, though, when you think about it. Like, they, they have this run at you style, they can make anything happen. It's a tri lane mid, for God's sake, for the most part. And they're doing pretty well, at least uh, against Jamel. But again, EG, like you mentioned, the sidelander's doing very well. RTZ and Universe getting a couple of kills and getting involved in some CS. So we shall see. They're rotating top. They're looking for RTZ. He's going to get shackled up for Eb. Already used the swashbuckle. Ether shock will go, but they don't have much enough damage to get this kill. Looks like they need a split earth to hit. It's going to be tough. RTZ on the run. MP's about to Whoa. go for the animation. Potentially a shackle will come in, and that will be a kill. Swashbuckle. One more auto attack, and Forever will secure it. Nicely done. They finally get some pressure on RTZ in the top lane. Play from MP TPing up top instead of going right back down bottom after he died. If he went bottom, he probably would have died to the tree and protector of Link. Here's done a pretty good job getting involved in some of these kills. He's level three. Meanwhile, Smell's gonna get concussive shotted. Dubu will go up. He doesn't have any orbs, but uh, level two Astral. He's gonna walk into the Nether Toxin. The Icarus dive sticks come out. They've got the Leech Shield to come through as well. The Astral making it so OD can survive for now, but Fear's still auto attacking Split Earth. That'll hit on Dishmail. They still want this kill, and they're going to find it, it looks like. It is a killing spree for Dubu, so nice rotations in from Immortals. A little bit too aggressive there for Miji, perhaps, but they were caught on the opposite side of the river. Nicely done. I think Immortals, chaotic uh, little skirmishes, probably favor them, right? This is what they're playing with. They kind of, they favor the chaotic gameplay. Maybe someday Dubu gets farmed too, and uh, he gets uh, involved in enough fights and he becomes par partially a core as well, who knows. Want that day, won't be. No, yeah, that, that's probably not happening, you're right. But uh, it would be pretty funny, but in terms of the farm for the, the, the Skyrath, he has the double null tally, so Vale, probably going to be his first big item, he'll pick up a wand, uh, maybe upgrade his boots. Coming back in is going to be crit. They drop a sentry. Ether Shock, they've got the shackles. He's in trouble. He's dead. Because of Shock, another Toxin will get dropped down. Too little, too late. Another kill in this mid lane for Mortals. Casually sitting. Take his bottom tower. He's got it feels like they did the same thing last game, though, where like, they were fighting mid and rotating elsewhere. But Universe got a tower or two. But... On the kills, right? Yes. Objective game. As I said, they're taking mid tower with. He's just sitting in the trees, just popping the edict. Now they will get a poison attack off into QO. The, the rotation from Universe is too little too late. MP is still in the tree line here. They don't see him yet, though. Looking for a swap. They're going to find it. The Shackles will come in, and now he's in trouble. They've got the Ancient Seal. Universe still fine. He's also got the Null Tally to work with, or excuse me, the Fairy Party to work with. The Wave of Terror will come in. That Sunray is doing serious damage, but they can't kill anybody yet. They're turning on Universe. MP's coming back in. The Swashbuckle misses, but they still might find the kill. On the other side, Sumail is fighting, but the call down will come in. They're trying to turn this fight. Wave of Terror. MP will get dropped down. It's a two-for-one trade. Four have had the Rolling Thunder, but it's still going to be in favor of Evil Geniuses as they don't lose Universe in that fight. Yep, Sumail goes down again. Four deaths for him at seven minutes. He's having a fantastic game. This is what he's Man, this actually feels rough. He's got no... He has less farm than Dubu now on this Viper. It is not a fun game for him at all. Yeah, you can tell. He's having a great old time, guys. Envisions everything. Just get run at by the enemy team on Viper. Have no farm. Right, he's also playing Viper. Yeah. Uh, the flashiest hero. A lot of these mid... Not appreciate having to play these... Enjoy getting back in the game with your level 2 Nether Toxin. He is going to need to be involved in a lot of kills to cure himself a late game position, but maybe it happens. I don't know. Probably not. Still, they have farm in Universe. They have farm in the Gyrocopter. Right. Top two in the net worth for them. Exactly. Universe farm on the bench. Basically, playing from the safe one. Right. Yes. So they have two heroes. My vigor was never in question. Gotta, just gotta deal with it. I mean, he might get some space to work with. I don't know. It's gonna take a while for sure, but... 
some extra farm coming in. They have a couple heroes bottom. Fear is not level 6 yet, but he will find Dubu if he wants to go for the nature's guys. Smoke up from EG. Arteezy wants to get involved. He's got the call down at the ready. And I think Fear spotted them moving. He even sees MP coming in. So I think MP might be in some serious trouble. Fear is going to start this off with the nature's guys hit. Overgrowth again. It's not there. MP will try to run. No TP scroll. He's dead one way or the other. I think the call down will hit. Swap in. Magic Missile comes out from Universe. Nice to time there. And EG will secure themselves an easy kill onto the Lashrak. By the way, this build on Max Concussion. Wow, that's very interesting. I don't know about this. Definitely does less damage. I guess it's good because you have Concussive shot up more times, but even then, I'm still curious. Because again, Arcane Bolt's like, what, a two second cooldown at the max level? And it does a ton of damage? A concussive shot does more, I think, at max level, but again, it's got a really long cooldown, so... It's all about the cool, cool spells you can use. I will say 45% slow is pretty rough for EG to deal with, especially somebody like the Viper, maybe, but... Who knows? Uh, he's got a reasoning for it, I'm sure. Might not be great reasoning, but he does have one, I'm sure of it. How many times I think he was... Dyer's Probably two or three... Yeah, one would assume. He played Arc Ward in this tournament as well, so... Uh-oh. Mystic Flare, Sumail about to fall. He will get off the very fire. Now QS has to go for a TP. He will make it away. Forever's going to try to rolling Thunder out. And he will make it out as well. So both of these heroes won't get punished. Meanwhile, bottom lane. Call down. Fear getting shackled up. He has his living armor. Won't be able to get it off in time. Arteezy's he's got the flat cannon. Needs one kill. He will find it on Dubu. That is a dominating spree for the support OD. Which is not a phrase I thought I would be saying. But Arteezy will get it done. Whew. Spicy fights all over the cross and, uh, across the map. He's, he's still going. Forever's going to swashbuckle himself out. But they have the homing missile. Uh, we'll do a lot of damage, but he will be fine. RTZ did max it. No rocket barrage yet. He, he went uh, max homing missile, max flash cannon. Nice for leading. Astral and Pri He finds some. They're just coming back up. EG aren't going to get caught. They're going to get Universe Bounty right here, who is working on a Dragon Lance. He's had a great game so far. Humel is getting some room to work with. He still doesn't have boots, by the way. Thought I'd point that out. Nah, Viper, he doesn't need movement speed. I've never heard of that. I mean, come on. What is it? 2.9 per level. Okay, that's actually not that bad. He'll be pretty speedy later in the game if he can get to that point. Uh, the uh, catch on the side of the middle is not great. Pro D has to run in past half. Oh. They did get Sumail, though. As you were saying that, they don't have the best catch, and then the Rolling Thunder hit him like twice. Apparently pretty good at catching. Meanwhile, mid lane, here comes the Supernova. They've got the Overgrowth, and they're going to keep Crit alive here. They're going to do plenty of damage. They will take down the Lushrak, and now Kyo is going to be next. Plenty of damage to come through the Icarus Dive as well. It's a double kill for Universe. Swap back onto Dubu, who will Astral himself in the meantime. Still no Rocket Barrage. Not that they need it, I don't think. The call down will go. Dubu's going to get Magic Missile. Wave of Tear. Three quick kills. Yes, they lose Sumail in the top lane, but the amount of damage they just pumped out mid was absolutely ginormous. Very nicely done from Fighting without Pangolier, right? In the last Radiant tower. I do like what they're doing top, though. Serpent Wards is going to go uh, for Febby. But it looks like they might trade Tier 1 for Tier 1 across the map. Custom Shot, Nature's Guys hit will come through. They have no Overgrowth, not that they need it. Maybe they do, actually. Icarus Dive will just miss. Fire Spirits, if they had Overgrowth, that's a kill. Uh, and EG, of course, they will still get the tier 1 tower for RTZ, but they could have gotten another kill on top of it as well, and a big one at that on the QO. So not bad at all. Javelin, so he has power spike. This is a build. Max heart pierce for I actually like it a lot, though. When he gets the Javelin, it's going to be disgusting. Smoke will break. They will drop a sentry. Fear is in trouble. He has overgrowth in 24 seconds, so not quite there yet. Living Armor at level 1 will not save him. The Rolling Thunder, at least Split Earth, more than enough to get the kill. And uh, a nice little pickup there for Mortals. But that is a smoke tanked by Fear. And there's the casual question mark. I was waiting for it. There it is. Oof. Not what they wanted, but uh, I'll take whatever they can. I think they're happy with that. The same. Happy with that. Factor tanks a five man gank. <laughs> yes. Of course, QO. Maybe they find some kills here. Maybe it's accurate. They're going to run in. Ancient Seal, Universe in a lot of trouble getting caught. The Shackles, the Split Earth. He's going to drop down. Universe, the first death for EG. And now Sumail needs to TP himself out of trouble. The Sunray will keep him alive, and he will make it away. MP getting burned down. Crit gets a kill. It's a one-for-one -one trade. Somehow, he gets involved, and he was able to Sunray down poor Lashrak there. So, And in the meantime, Arteezy is throwing up a giant Ancient Stack again. All right, then. 
got caught going in Titan spawn. And yeah, that could have been a lot worse. Although Universe going down is pretty big because Pangolier got involved in getting that net worth uh, ahead of him now is very important for Rev, who's actually about to have bots again. So it's the same build he went last game, I think. So the other boots, treads, bait. I was thinking maybe phase, but even then, it sound that great. Uh, you're right about that. He will have the bots, and I think it's just better to have in the early game. But to mail, he has treads. He's got a cloak. He's starting to get back online. He's now halfway up in terms of network. He's a little bit behind QO, which is actually really surprising. He went for the max uh, nether toxin, which allows him to farm a lot quicker in terms of these camps and these waves. So he's fine. Well, we'll call it that. He might get ganked, but meanwhile, EG's going to look for a counter initiation, potentially an MP. Universe, Wave of Terror will come out. They have Magic Missile. They have Swap. Forever's in. There's the Supernova. They will cancel the Rolling Thunder. They need this kill. He's in trouble getting dropped down. It's going to be auto attacks that get him done. Look out. I don't know what happened there. Dupe is going to get swapped back in. They have plenty of damage. They have the Overgrowth. They won't use it. Actually, already used it. Just kidding. Here, but it's three kills going the way of EG, and Arteezy finds himself a dominating three and a double kill in that fight. Drop the wards. He can't, maybe. He thought he saw something else. Courier. Huh. Oh, yeah, he did get the courier. Alright, it might be might be worth the wards, potentially. They might have lost that fight even with the wards placed in, in the thick of things, but you never know. How do immortals fight? Like, after the fight, it's a old growth. Copter ability. You gotta start things off with an Astral, potentially. Ancient Seal has been how they've been winning a lot of these fights, though, for QO. Can't wait for the fight with an Astral. It's gonna be real good. <laughs> the Blink Astral initiation. They're gonna try for the Concussive Shot instead, but Fear is already in there. Swashbuckle, another Toxin will come through. That is the break. They need to be careful. They'll have to beckon themselves up away. That Shackle range is insane. Universe will swap him out, though. They're both gonna be fine. Crit jumps in really aggressively. QO is gonna get Astral saved, and now there's gonna be the Rolling Thunder. Sumail is in a lot of trouble here as well. The Shackles will come in. These Split Earth 1. One more time, they've got the Ancient Seal, they've got more than enough damage to secure the kill, and Immortals will turn too. Can they find anything else? More than likely, no. I don't think so. Perhaps forgetting it's 15 minutes in the game, and Heroes on very quickly. One, one fight. Probably not. Very unlikely. Yeah, agreed. By the way, the, the Shock Holder range, obviously, Aether Lens is the reason why. I was like, that doesn't seem right, and then I saw the Aether Lens, and I'm like, okay, that makes more sense. Heavy is very far. Yeah, surprisingly so. He did help get the Tier 1 Tower top lane. I guess he's been just kind of running around, farming. Ooh, first G. Very low. Anyway, they will heal him up. Arteezy, again, this is kind of what happened last game. Oh, he's looking for him. He's going to get the kill, in fact. So he's doing great. Again, he was doing great on the tiny last game. He got free farm, but this feels different, I think, this time around. This is free patience around. Yes. It's pretty good so far for him. He's rich. He'll get Aether Lens sooner rather than later, potentially. He's about to get jumped on, unfortunately. And uh, he has no way to survive. He has a TP scroll. Maybe that's the only way he gets Viper. He's going to go for the TP, and I don't think there's anybody here in time, actually. I thought maybe they rotated in, but there was no homing missile. RTC was still far away. They didn't have any nature guy save or anything like that. So good attempt, but he will TP himself out of trouble. Also split pushing up into the top tier, too. All right. So things will slow down a little bit. There's only a 4K lead for EG, surprisingly enough. It feels like it should be more, actually. Perhaps this, uh, there it is. It's going to be great. Shackles top lane. Smell's going to get caught. The Serpent Wards drop down. Nether Toxin, he's got the Spell Life Steal, but he's still in trouble. The Pulse Nova, he's going to get hexed up as well. One more attack should do the job from Febby and, and the wards. Meanwhile, Swashbuckle Freb still stunned up. Wave of Terror, he's going to use his ultimate to try to get out. There's the Overgrowth, though. That's what they were looking for. The Sun Ray, they wait for the Rolling Thunder. Then they pop the ultimate from Fear, and that is more than enough to secure the kill. So that's probably not that bad of a trade for EG, all things considered. All right, very nice. So that's their counter. Yes. Same as the inst. Very cool. Saw it there, and once that's down, it, it didn't even cancel the animation. It, it, it just put it straight on cooldown uh, pretty much immediately, so. Better than the stuns that don't do. Yeah. Shackle's coming in, but RTZ sun right up. Oh my lord, the Ancient Seal oh, Mystic Flare actually evaporated him. My god. 
All right, you know, I was talking. This just feels like what happened. They literally did the same thing last game, right? They had the tiny up of the tier three tower. He gets ice sharded in and he gets dropped down. Literally the same thing happens, except you have an ancient seal and shackles plus a mystic flare drop down. And now they even have the rod of Atos onto the Skyrath mage. So they get the biggest kill they could have gotten in the game, and all of a sudden the network lead has dwindled down to one K. And evil geniuses now. They've got to be careful here in the next few minutes. Damage from a more counter by four step. I can't make that jackal combo into the Skyrath mage ultimate happen. Have a force death. Universe might think about switching from Shadow Blade. He has the Dragonlance already. Getting a Hurricane Pike might not be a bad idea. But I don't know. Again, we saw that EG needed a BKB in the last series, and they didn't get it when they needed it. So it's kind of like that. The itemization has been sort of an issue here, and we'll see if uh, if it happens again. RT is going to go BKB this time around, which makes a lot more sense. So, Fabi about to maybe get caught by Universe. Wave of Terror, they need to swap, he's a little far away. Out of range. And they're going to look for RTZ to get the homing missile on instead, and yeah, this is troublesome. They're not going to go to the high ground, and in the meantime, they just, they're just they split pushing top with Dubu. But they're still sitting towards this Roche pit, maybe they try it. Ancient Seal, there's going to be the Atos coming out as well, but the swap is in from Universe. Not nearly enough damage to bring Crit down, even had the Limiting Armor on him, so that will keep him tanky and alive. So Kuro's Mystic Flare is down for 30 seconds, he's got the rest of his abilities back in about 5 seconds. And MP continues to split push top lane with level 4 Edict, this tier 3 tower. They need to be careful. They'll even drop the Serpent Wards inside the pit. Here we go. Ato's going to get dropped again. They have the Sun Rail to uh, heal up Sumail as well as he gets 18 sealed one more time. But should still be fine. Although they have the Shackles, the Shield Crash, the Call Down coming in. They're going to lose two heroes here potentially. But again, top tier 3 tower. They need to be careful. MP's still putting in the work there. They've got to TP back. Dubu's still in trouble. Nature's Guys hit forever. Has the Rolling Thunder to work with. There's the Supernova Kuo getting chased down potentially. They need to find any more stuns or disables to find it. But they won't be able to do so. They'll maybe head back into the Roach Pit instead. But MP still working on his tier 3. Forever. Fear, rather, is going to get caught. They have the Pulse Nova going along with the Edicts. A lot of damage. Fear is in trouble. About to get caught. The Living Armor and the Tear Through Tower is going to fall. They will get MP at the end of the day. Are they, the tower. they are in the pit. Oh, my God. Is it solo? Oh, no. Against the Tram Protector. It was oh. solo. Oh, my God. Fred might get caught here. He's going to use the Rolling Thunder. They have no Overgrowth. There's no Nature's... Uh, oh, there's no Tram Protector here to come in with the Overgrowth. But now Smell's going to get caught. The Ancient Seal, the Sun Ray. They're actually going to maybe do enough healing here to keep him alive. And Fred now done with the Rolling Thunder. They need to be careful. To use the Icarus Dive, Fred slowed up, but again, the damage reduction. He's really tanky. He's still getting chased down. Sumail has the Viper Strike. Can't get there in time. Roche has regened up a little bit. The Ancient Seal again under crit, who's still in trouble. QO's going to get caught, though. Plenty of damage to the urn taking down on him, and Arteezy is going to run. He's out of mana now. The Swashbuckle, he wants the kill. He's going to find it. Can he get Tubu as well? It looks like no. Will they chase down Frev? It looks like they're going to get one auto attack off, but again, they can't get the Viper Strike. Sumail just a little too far away there. But now, can EG finally take Roshan? Conquer. Might just be. Then it's not fast, right? They have less track. A lot of their damage is Frev, of course, who is back at the base. We're going to see another fight potentially. Fear Overgrowth is back in five. Rolling Thunder is up as well for the Pangolier. Yeah, so no four step. He will get it next. Febby, kind of close by, but they don't see him. Maybe they just head into the pit. They have a wave of tear. He might fall pretty quickly. And that's going to be it. They could take Roche potentially. Rolling Thunder is back up. This is going to be close. I don't think they know that this is happening. They're going to rotate over now with Dubu, but it's too little too late. They're going to get Roach. They're going to get the Aegis for Smell, who is thanking his lucky stars. He's, getting, he's been getting killed numerous times in this game, so. All right. Oh, they saw Frev. Oh, the Wave of Terror, but now nah, they won't go for anything. I don't know if they actually saw him, but the Wave of Terror did hit him. And Kuo is dead. Ancient Seal. They'll pop the Shrine, and Arteezy gets the last hit. Now a dominating spree for him. And again, in the top lane, Living Armor, they dropped the Serpent Wars. There's the Hex. They want this building, but I don't think they're going to be able to find it. Universe is going to get chapped up, but no damage being done. They still haven't taken down the tower yet. It's going to be close. They might get it, and they will. Debbie will give his life, but it is a Tier 3 tower taken for Immortals. Dyer's top shrine is under attack. Tower taken. Right, this uh, Rat style gameplay. Yep. It's tough. You saw it in that top lane when he first uh, came in with MP. He was able to heal up the tower a little bit, but now they finally finish it off. And I think if you're EG, you probably want to keep this top lane pushed out as much as possible. Arteez is already doing that now, so... And that is a huge item. Oh, Brev. Trying to run. Should be fine. Dude was here to help out as well. But Rolling Thunder was used. Living Armor. Again, the tower is so low. Radiance middle tower. All right. So what now? We have Aegis up. 
I mean, like I said, you want to keep this top lane pushed out. Um, I think Immortals want to keep going. They're running at top lane, it looks like, so maybe they can try to find a fight. Arteezy's BKB is flying out as we speak, but it's not here yet. The Astral will come through. This is a problem. Crit will TP in as well with the Sunray available. Fred is about to do a lot of damage here. Comes the call down. The Hex is up. They've got the Supernova. There's the Shackles as well. They want this kill. The BKB is about to arrive. He's going to get dropped down as it gets there. That is gigantic for Immortals, but can they get out? Or maybe even find more. Crit's going to get caught. He will use the Icarus Dive. Swap out the Sunray doing a lot of damage. There's the Shackles. Magic Missile. They'll take one. Can they get more MP? A double kill for Universe. He just walks in. Auto attacks twice. And that will do it, and they just keep farming elsewhere for smell. So, a two-for-two two trade. They did lose crit there, but again, a very uh, big double kill for Universe. Even though each got caught out in a pretty bad position. Ton of damage. Overall, not too bad, and that BKB timing was so Yeah, he almost had it. That's, uh... That lucky hit faster than they would. So that might be the last time they kill him in a while. Uh, maybe he makes some mistakes, maybe they catch him out again, but with the BKB it feels like it's a lot harder to kill the gyrocopter now, Brax. Yep, tons of their damage. <laughs> Vine 5 indeed. The Blink Dagger flying out for fear, so he will now have Blink Overgrowth Initiation. Sumail is still kind of working on his next item. He's had uh, treads and pipe for a while. He's got 2,200 gold. I don't think he actually has anything on the courier either, so... Still waiting on his next item. Started this game with five or six deaths in the mid lane. Yeah. The gets him... If this was the old Viper, he would be in some serious trouble, I think. Yep, I would have... I don't know what you do in that situation, but, uh... They will take the shrine top. Mortals are going to try to push. They have a couple of heroes top lane. They'll have Edict to work with as well. And Edict. Yeah. I think I if you're think EG, you need it back. Oh, uh -oh they're going to lose Rax. They're committed. Yeah. EG will try to trade. That might be the best they can get now. But there's a Radiant Cliff. The Mortals will TP back here in a moment once they are done with the Rax at this point. The Tier 3 Tower will fall. EG will get that done. But again, Rax is already down here. The melee Rax is done. MP still staying. Looking for a dive from Universe. The swap in QO is going to get dropped down. He'll be dead for 50. He does have buyback. They might want to use it here. And it'll be a Rax trade, which is actually not that bad for EG, I want to say. I'm not sure. Well, they have Aegis right there in the dominant position. Definitely did not want to have to trade that Rax. They probably realized, hey, we're already... Have to go for it. But now they won't have to deal with Serpent Wards, right? And also, they can maybe force out a buyback. There's 30 seconds left. This Tier 2 tower is still alive, so it's something that EG has to take down, but... They can force it. Under attack. Definitely be worth it. That happens, I think. Quite happy with that. Gonna be Heart Piercer on Arteezy. Dumel's getting earned up. He still has Aegis, mind you. He has it for another 30 seconds, so he wants to use it. Rev comes in, has the Swashbuckle. He has Basher as well as Diffusal Blade. Now he's rich. Swap should be back up for Universe. They're looking for a target. Can't quite get it. Arteezy will get Living Armored. There's the Sanities. Everybody has no Man. mana. Veggie's gonna get hexed up. Rev's about to fall though. The Rolling Thunder. It's a double kill for RTZ. Dead for 60 seconds. And EG, they might be able to find this Rax now. The concussive shot. The swap back in. Kiwa was in trouble. The Mystic Flare. It will not save you. It's going to be three dead. He has the buyback. He's gonna have to use it. They will get the Rax mid though in the meantime. Crit will have the Sunray. They'll keep everybody up fighting fit for now. RTZ still going to work with you. He has the. the uh he has his Mask of Manus to work with. They found Fear. Supernova coming in. He's about to fall. He will get dropped down. Dead for 50, but MP's in trouble. Aegis is gone, but Sumail is back up to full strength. They have a Tier 2 top lane, so they can't quite dive this uh, into this Tier 3 tower just yet. QO is going to get burned down. He actually might die. He actually will use the... He has a huge wand charge there to save his life. That was very close. Not save the building. <sighs> uh oh. Sumail's all chatting as he gets shackled, but the call down will come. And there's little to no follow-up, and Febby needs to be careful. The Hex will come in. He'll drop the ward. Sumail will walk right out, and Febby is going to die here against Sumail. That, oh, just kidding. Shackle's actually on a ridiculously short cooldown, but he will still get dropped down anyway. So Sumail has the pipe. He's in trouble. The Pangolier. Rev's going to bring him down. The Viper Strike comes in, and so Sumail stays a little bit too long. Yes, he got Febby, but he does get dropped in the end. It's out of this game. Yes, he really does. Um, what was I going to say? So, the one series that EG need to win, they've lost every series at the uh, start of Midas mode here. But if they win this game, it doesn't matter. They'll be in the playoffs. Mortals will obviously be out. And uh, it's looking like EG with two sets of racks now. They have the dominant advantage here. 
Yes, that was the, the plan all along. They wanted to get to Game 3 maybe because they wanted to do Elimination Mode. Like, it felt like they had Game 2 sort of in hand for a little bit. I don't know. I'm sure I'm wrong about this, but I think that there's a possibility. Have a for sure. Got some kill. Either way, Fear looking for Dubu, the Nature's Guys, the Sunray. He does have Astral in two seconds, but uh, he's still probably going to get drops. He's sitting at about, like, 50 HP. Rocket Barrage will finish him off. All right, so no Dubu for 52. Roche will respawn in at least a minute. They'll try to keep the, the top lane pushed out, one would assume, for EG. Then they'll go from there. I don't see any Barocopter in it, right, where they just walk together as five. There is a lot of Announced being from Gareth Mage can oh. Ancient Seal shackles the Mystic Flare. They need to keep Fear alive, and he's right alive now. Universe actually gets up the swap of time. Wave comes in, they don't have enough uh, speed for Max Pistol to come out. Universe not close enough. Now he is, but there's the Hex, that'll be under RTZ. They have the Icarus Dive coming in, the Shackles. That will not keep QO alive, and Fear is still chasing. Good blink away from Febby, though. That'll keep him up and ready to go. But again, QO dead for another 46 seconds. So in the meantime, they're actually going to find Febby. Shackles coming to homing missile. Too little too late. Arteezy going to force out that buyback now into Immortals, and uh, they will try for their last set of racks here. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Yeah, looks like it. Febby does have these Serpent Wards, but he's about to get caught. Universe forced himself in, looking for a magic missile. RTZ not happy about the talents, the uh, the Shackle talent, as it were. It's pretty good. Rather, the, uh, just the fact that it's so, so short cooldown instead. It's actually ridiculous. He keeps spamming it. <laughs> they have the Swashbuckle coming in. RTZ will pop the BKB. Black Cannon will go. Seeing these Eclipse does little to nothing. They've already dropped another hero down. That, of course, was Febby. Dubu gets caught back at the base. MP's going to get dropped down. Fear came in. Had the overgrowth. They'll get that kill. He's denied, actually, with the Bloodstone. Call down at the well. Immortals, this might be the end of the road for Midas Moan. And, in fact, it will be. GG is called. And Evil Geniuses will take the series 2-1. Well played, both teams. It was nice to see a game three for both these guys. And we are starting to see some Pangolier.